What do you think, guys? The height of fashion? <laughs> Is the camera supposed to be... <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Rago here. So round two. Um, a bit more brisk today. Wind's a little bit up and down, kind of on the lighter side, but there is some wind. So I want to see if I can get up on the foil and Kristen's going to join me and we're going to see if we can make some action happen. I'm just going to go out there. I have no expectations for this session. I just want to go back and forth, get a feel for the wing get a feel for everything and then I think in a session or two we'll be up on foil and hopefully have some fun. So that's a wrap, I think. Uh, it got a bit colder, wind totally tanked on us, so now we're just kind of walking around. But the thing is, I mean, we're in beautiful nature, beautiful day. I'm still feeling really good. I feel like I learned a lot today. If I had maybe two more knots, I think I could have got up on foil. And Kristen's actually winged before, so uh, same thing. Like if she just had maybe like three more knots, probably would have got up on the foil. But it was a really good learning experience, and uh, just like Tucker said, um, once I got going and like standing up, it started to feel a bit more intuitive. I really did feel like if I could just get a bit more speed, I could have pumped this foil up. And I will say that I'm actually vibing with this inflatable Fanatic board. So uh, check this out. I've got these ridges here for the straps, but without having to look down, I could feel where my feet were to be in the proper place. And that was really helpful. Um, you know, today I tried practicing some transitions and just going back and forth on my knees. And then I worked on just standing up. It was, there was really no hope for me to get on the foil today, but I still had a lot of fun. It was a good day. Did you have fun, Kristen? Yeah, I had fun getting out there today but I just missed the wind. So it's a little frustrating when you don't quite have enough wind to get up on foil. I feel like if there were a few more knots, I definitely would have been able to make it work. I've gotten up on foil before. I just, I don't have the technique yet to get up in a light wind. So it was a little bit too late for me, but all in all, still a fun day. All right guys, so I'm back in the RV and I'm reviewing the footage from yesterday's session. And I was chatting with the crew at the shop and somebody suggested sending the footage to Tucker for video coaching. And I thought it might be kind of fun to patch him in and put this video lesson live and share what he's teaching me, what I'm learning. And then I will add my own feedback on what I kind of got out of this session. And as well, we're experimenting with uh, some new 360 footage. I did a terrible job with it, bad lighting. I forgot to get the pole out of the shot, but we're getting better at this, and the next episode is going to be even better. We're going to start answering some more, more of your questions and my experience as I'm going through what you might be asking and bringing a little more value to these vlogs. But for now, it's a bit more just my experience, and we'll expand and grow this series as it goes. So we'll see what Tucker has to say. Hey, Rigo. Good to see you on video, my dude. Stoked to see you out there on the wing, giving it a try. And uh, thanks for sending me that video. We're gonna give you a quick uh, couple of tips here on it. So let me uh, kind of zoom in there and I can point at it for you. All right, so let's get this started here. You can see you're getting on from the side of the board, uh, but your hands are really far offset. I would put it, the board a little bit more downwind 
put your hands on the rails uh, and get up facing forward with the board porting downwind. That way it won't throw you around so much. All right, and you see you get up sideways. You can tell you're a, uh, a kiteboarder because you get on the board sideways. <laughs> you wanna point the nose of the board downwind and have your knees facing forwards and backwards uh, on the board here rather than sideways um, because the way your body works, you can go side to side really easily and kind of adjust you know, your body, but front to back is, is a little harder to do. Um, so you're putting the, the hardest to adjust part of your body reacting to the least stable part of the board, uh, which is that side to side tipping. Um, so if you point the board downwind, put your knees forward to backwards, that will give you a little bit more agility side to side to react to the board and how it moves and to the waves um, in the board lengthwise obviously is very stable so you don't need to worry about that too much. All right, so you can tell you're moving a little bit here. There's some wind in the sail. You're doing the thing. Doesn't look like you're really super powered so it's probably a bit light uh, for learning today. If you knew what you were doing, yeah really had some, some good technique and efficiency, you could probably get moving, but. All right, so let's stop there. Yeah, so you're a little bit light. Um, you're holding the sail uh, a little low to the water. You know, as a result, you're trying to catch more power in the canopy. You don't want to hold it too high because there's not as much power up there, um, but there's really just no power period. So that's kind of the issue here. Obviously you can tell you got your wingtip too low caught it on the water uh, and ran it over. So you're gonna have difficulties there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hold the, hold the wing a little higher in the sky, kind of at a 45 degree angle uh, up into the sky. And that way when you have enough power, it's going to create some momentum, but also lift um, and, and allow you to kind of do a pull up on the wing and lift your body weight off the board to create that foil uh, flight, get it flying when you remove your weight from the board. Yeah, and you're really just not moving very fast. It's super light. So on a day like this, you either need a bigger wing, like an eight meter or something, or just uh, wait till it gets a little windier. Not to say that it's uh, useless to go on a day like today. You're learning a lot. You're getting uh, the muscle memory down, kind of figuring out how to handle the wing, how to point the board, how to balance. All that stuff is really valuable, especially for people that haven't had any winging experience. Um, but on a day like today, it's just kind of fruitless to try to foil. There's just not enough wind there, you can tell, um, to get you flying, especially with a five meter sail. And he gets the on water transition. Ba -ba -ba Boom. Head in the other direction. Very nice. Um, so once you do have enough uh, wind in your sail on a windier day, um, you'll want to point your board a little bit more downwind. Uh, you don't want to round up into the wind until you get foiling um, because you're just burning speed and, and drifting downwind a bit more sideways. Um, so rather than do that, build speed, you know, maybe 10, 15 degrees downwind, uh, maybe even 20 degrees downwind until you get flying and then round the board up into the wind uh, to start riding up wind and gain some more speed shearing the wind. So yeah, good job, Rigo. You're looking comfortable out there, my man. I think uh, the biggest thing is you just need a lot more wind, um, you know, to learn and, and get the basics and, and build some efficiency so you can go ride more easily on these lighter days. Good job, man. Keep it up. All right, so that was actually super helpful for me. I learned a lot from uh, Tucker's little video lesson there. A lot of mistakes that I made. Hopefully some new wingers out there also found that helpful just watching somebody else go through the process and make the common mistakes that you might make if you didn't take a lesson. And that is one of the cool things I think about the sport is you don't necessarily need a lesson to get into it. I think a bit of foil experience definitely helps, but it also feels safe enough to go out like on an inflatable board like that and just start practicing and getting used to the wing, which makes this a very unique animal.
But I've always been a big believer in going to people who are better than you and asking questions, learning, and it's kind of fun doing these video lessons with Tucker, so I'm gonna have him keep coaching me, and in the meantime, let me know what you want to know and learn about winging and as i get better and up my knowledge level i'll start answering more questions and working with the other wing guys and putting out more valuable content that just answers whatever you want to know so keep me posted if you guys found this video helpful give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button i'll catch you later